Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another incremental Googology video. And yes, I know what you're thinking. The series is dead. No, it's not. Because of a mod of incremental Googology that somebody made. You can see there's a link to the original game here. And so basically it's not by it's not made by Hyperbolic Cosine, like the original game. It's the mod is made by somebody else. I'm not really sure. Who it is, I can probably post it up on the screen. And basically, I just played this mod from the beginning until the first new mechanic. So I don't even I don't have all the achievements. I'm unable to get that is what the increment means, and the two is less than three, and the it seems far away achievement. But I was able to get all the others. And you can see there's also another row of achievements. But the big thing is fast growing hierarchy prestige. So Fashigu matrix system is a Google logical notation. Fast growing hierarchy is another Google logical notation. It's kind of the one people use as a benchmark because it, it basically it turns like ordinals into huge numbers. I don't want to explain too much because I just want to get into the game. So here we go. I have a new mechanic called fast growing hierarchy. There's F zero of zero, which is actually just one because F of zero is the successor function. Boosts zero only Bashiku matrices based on fast growing hierarchy prestige count and then F of alpha of one. Alpha is not an ordinal, so I don't know why. Boost zero, 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 002 based on fastest fast growing hierarchy prestige. Well, I think this one looks stronger, so I'm going to go for that one. And then there's fast growing hierarchy challenges. There's eight of them. I don't think I want to start them quite yet, but yeah, there's also Zeroloom, Unoloom, Baloom, this has nothing to do with the fast growing hierarchy, whatever, it's, it's interesting, let's, let's start again, and also, a thing that the, that this can, this Bashigu Matrix, no, the fast growing hierarchy prestige can do, is it's actually able to make some of the achievements possible again, like maybe, Maybe something like it seems far away. No, there. Maybe two is less than three means the amounts. I'm not really sure. Oh no! But why they're all base two? That's the one I could possibly go for. Because this just means I need to get all of the zero 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 two, and don't prestige for the zero 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 three. And also, somehow I don't have this achievement. I don't know why I don't have this achievement, because I think I literally just... I just did a fast-growing hierarchy prestige. Maybe the achievements just don't work. I, I don't even know. But anyway, we can progress further. There's also another interesting thing about this fast-growing hierarchy prestige. It seems to be a layer of prestige above the prestige that resets the unlock the next number in the brackets which means that it is an omega plus one prestige layer because this this prestige layer resets every base below it so that means it's an omega prestige layer and yes omega and omega plus one are ordinals they it's like yeah they're they're used in the fast growing hierarchy unfortunately you know these numbers that we're gonna see here are only two in the fast growing hierarchy. F sub 2 will get these numbers, and even tetration, which is like 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 10, that's F sub 3 of n. So, yeah, that's interesting. I don't think I want to go for the but why they're all base 2, because I'm still like two resets away from that. And there's a boost that's based on my fastest fast growing hierarchy prestige so that's what i'm gonna go for instead so basically it's literally just buy all these things until i can get another prestige and then rinse and repeat because that's what this game is it also has a hot key i can i can hold the zero key down not the m key but the zero key to basically I'll hold the enter button on, on this button. So this this means I just you know things are just flashing, and all and what I need to do is get to e one hundred number. That gets me 
one more fast growing hierarchy prestige. So at E38, I'm able to get unlock five zeros three, which means this will reset this. This is the first prestige layer, this is the second prestige layer, and this is the omega prestige layer. And fast growing hierarchy prestige is omega plus one. So it's interesting to see Googleology concepts in incremental games, even if the numbers aren't quite Google logical yet. Like they're still under E308, so they're definitely not Google logical. The numbers are just merely astronomical. So it looks like I can get this prestige. I think I think what I want to do is get this E76. This will unlock six zeros three, and then that will allow me to go back to or not go back to anything. Well, it'll reset all of this. I'll do the same procedures as before and then get to E100. And this will hopefully this this will hopefully make things pretty quick. Another thing I could go for is equality, which I'm not sure how useful that is or it's well, it seems pretty useful, but I'm not sure how easy it is. That that was the, what I was going to say. So I'm just going to keep holding the zero key down because I need at least four of them, which means I need to do at least one reset here. And this is 101.6, which means that I need to buy like, I need to buy this like eight times. So I don't really want to do that because you can see it's, it'll take a while. So I, I could probably do it actually, but I think I just want to get that fast prestige because it's based on the fastest, fast-growing hierarchy prestige. Or at least that's, that's this booth of the upgrade that I'm going to get next time. It's, it's based on. So, that, so there we go. This is, I think, the last prestige I need before getting E100 number and doing a fast-growing hierarchy prestige in just a few minutes. So this is... I feel like another thing with the mod is that I think it starts you out like eight times faster or something like that. So that makes the early game go by a lot faster because this upgrade isn't actually that powerful. It's just, it's really only maybe a eight times boost to my number. And that's it. So there we go. And this actually, this is underwhelming. This is only going to 1.449. So maybe, it, maybe I can do an even faster run. I don't really have much time to waste if I want to do a fast run. So... I'm basically just speedrunning fast growing hierarchy prestiges at this point. So I get E14, unlock this. I think the unlock for the base 3 is E19. I'm not really sure where these unlocks come from. Maybe it's tetrational or something. But here's the unlock a new base number. And now it should be a lot easier to start getting astronomically large numbers. And I think I, I might want to skip this because I'm pretty close to E38, which gives me, of course, the unlock that, or the unlock, the whatever, the 503. I, it's so hard to say, like, what these are because it's just a certain number of zeros and then two or three. I mean, I guess that's what it is. Now, I, I think it's best to prestige at E57. Because instead of 10 orders of magnitude away, I'm 20 orders of magnitude away. And I need every order of magnitude I can really get here. Because it, it does slow down a little bit right at the end. So that is the last three prestige. I'm just going to call them two prestiges and three prestiges. Even though it's the first and second prestige layer. And here we go. E57. And then final push to E100. It's pretty quick, and I can get one more fast-growing hierarchy number. So, the thing is with the fast-growing hierarchy numbers is that to get the first one, it's E100, but to get the second one, it's E200, which takes a long time. So, you can see, this is now 1.675. That's a bit better. Unfortunately, the, the next upgrade here is 11 fast growing hierarchy numbers and these upgrades look non-repeatable so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna get or well, I mean 
I can get this by just grinding a bunch. Same with this. Actually, I, I could take a look at them. So boost 0 to based on unspent fast growing hierarchy number. Just this. And that's a pretty weak upgrade as well, so that doesn't seem like the best. Start with four Bashigu matrices available for every base number, so I guess that's something. Doesn't look very powerful as well. And then fast growing hierarchy numbers grows passively by one tenth of your bat of your best fast growing hierarchy number per second. That's it. Now, there's also the challenges. Which maybe I should I should try at this point, but I want to get equality. Or something like that is what increment means. If I want to get that is what increment means, I need to get the amounts of 0, 2 is less than 0, 0, 2 is less than 0, 0, 2. So it's it kind of sucks, but if I only need to get 3, it's not that bad, and I can do the 0, 0, 3. If I can get, just get 2, maybe it'll work, but that never actually seems to work. I've tried it before, and yeah, I, I'm I'm not even gonna try this. This is just this is just grindy, and I don't want to do that. I could try it one more time here because I now have even more of these, and I didn't see the six five six one right here. So maybe I can do it. I don't I don't know how much this actually scales by. What I can what I can do is I can save and then load. Yeah, cost E7. I wasn't going to get it anyway. And um, I was going to try to get equality, but that's... Actually, no, it's, it's still possible. I, I, can, I can still get equality. I It's not based on the amounts, just based on the multipliers. And if I can get everything to 240 times 6, I can actually get equality. So I need a lot of number for this, but... It, doesn't seem as bad as what it possibly could be. I need E24 for the penultimate upgrade to to this, and then E33. Okay, that's definitely within reach. So I'm, I'm going for that. Okay, here we go. Aided by this, I can get this. Hopefully this is gonna... Yeah, there we go. Equality. The, the achievement that seemed way out of reach in like episode 1 or 2 of this series. And it makes zero only base two Bashigu matrices seventy percent stronger. That's like the same as a prestige run, so that's pretty good. I well, I do want to get stuff like, but why they're all base two and it seems far away, and especially that is what increment means. But a lot of these just seem almost impossible to get. So I'm I'm gonna try I'm gonna try something else, and that is the fast growing hierarchy challenge. So I'm gonna reset for one more fast growing hierarchy number. Here, I, I need to go to BMS tab. And then, I want to see what these challenges are like. So, the first challenge is, when buying any zero-only Bashiku matrix, those with greater or equal costs will weaken by a half. This is like... <laughs> this feels like challenge 9, almost. In Antivirus Dimensions. And then the penalties reset on unlock and the base increase. And I need to get E100 to get automatic buy max of all zero only Bashiga matrix. So that's that's pretty good. So this means I want to buy the most expensive thing I can. That's what it looks like. And also I could possibly get achievements this way. Like maybe stuff like that is what increment means or two is less than three or even two is less than three means the amounts. But yeah, um, we can. So I can buy this. It's not going to do anything. I'm just going to keep buying the most expensive thing. And okay, there's one unlock. That means I'm getting somewhere. 256. So it yeah, you can see it, what it's doing. Um, the cheaper it is, the more it's going to be nerfed. So. I think this early section isn't going to be too bad at this point. I can probably just do stuff like this, and there we go. Even though this is extremely weak, I can still get it. So it's more like Infinity Challenge 4. It's it's like if Challenge 9 and... It, no, it's more like if Infinity Challenge 4 and Infinity Challenge 5 had a baby. It's this. 
So, let's see. I think I, I want to go for E19 now. So, just get the most expensive thing I can. I probably want to even get... Yeah, I can get this. Um, E28 is kind of far away, so I can probably just get e, this E14 thing. I don't, I don't want to get this because that's going to make this weaker. And now, maybe now I can get this. Now I can buy this. So this is almost like buying tick beat upgrades and inspired mentions. And then we can finally unlock. So now just the same thing as before. This also seems to apply. This this whole thing seems to apply to both the zero two and zero three. So that's going to be tricky, actually. I need E thirty eight to get um another unlock here. So I gotta buy the most expensive thing among both of the categories. So yeah, this is a, this is a pretty challenging challenge. I can unlock this, so I'm probably gonna do that. And 256, this, um, this one's more expensive, get that, maybe get the E14, and then maybe get some of these. So it's, it's going to really nerf these, but that's hopefully fine. So let's see, I, I need E28. This is rough. This is actually a pretty rough challenge. It's making this later game a lot harder. So I think I'm just going to keep buying the most... Ex I'm just going to buy the most expensive expensive purchase I see that I can buy. And it's really... I don't even have... The, my growth is basically linear. That's interesting. I guess I just buy this. Even that isn't going to do any... Actually, buying all of this is going to severely hinder my production because this is more expensive so and there's no way to lose a reset like in internet dimensions so wow i guess i have to fail the challenge or just wait a crap ton of time i don't know which one's which one's preferable i guess i'll just wait a crap ton of time because i'm not really i'm not trying to do it in a very quick amount of time so yeah, see you in a long while. Okay, so it's been a couple of days, and I finally have enough number, just enough, to do the next unlock. So, yeah, I'm going to be a lot more careful next time about this. I really just can't buy cheap things. Like, I, like buying, like not buying things is sometimes the way to go. So, let's do this. 256, this, um... Uh, it's the most expensive. I kind of got to be quick at the beginning, which is which sucks. And then probably want to get at least one of these, even though that will nerf things later on. And then I probably just want to wait because that actually is the best way to go. And unless I get something like this, that is actually more expensive. And yes, this is divided by four, but I should be okay with that. So. Now I just wait for E38, which is what I, that's what I need to get all the way to the next unlock. So, yeah, see in a bit. Okay, it's been a couple of hours, and I have E38 here, so I can do this. I also want to say that this, this is actually incorrect. I think it's because maybe as part of the buff of this game, there's some kind of like time speed buff. So, here we go. E38. It's enough to unlock 0000003 in the challenge, which means it's going to be even harder. Yay. I don't know. Well, first, the first few unlocks are going to be easy. Like, that's not the problem. The real problem is, like, after this, after this point. When I really, when I need to get E28... E57 that's going to be even worse. Like, I'm not even sure if this challenge is possible at this point. So, I have to do this. 256. This is the most expensive. This is the most expensive. It's actually not the most expensive, but whatever. Maybe I should just wait instead. I don't think it's that big of a deal at this point. And then I just... Um... 
wait. <laughs> so as I approach the, the, well, this mini goal here, I want to try something. What if I buy as many of these as I can? Does this start actually increasing or decreasing? It does increase. So that is a good way to get a good little burst of progression. I think the polynomial growth has stopped, but it gets me a good 10 orders of magnitude right off the bat. Can I do it with this as well? No. So I, it only works with one of these. So that that's actually really good to know. I'm, I'm going to start doing that eventually. But anyway, now this. I don't know. I need to get E57. And this is going to go by so quickly that, oh my god, I have to just buy. And there's not really much else I can do other than just buy the max dimensions. That's like the only thing that's worth it. And yes, I'm calling these dimensions. So now I wait. And see, I noticed that this got me about 9 orders of magnitude at E28. So, according to this logic, I should be like 18 orders of magnitude at E57. So, maybe I should be at like E40 something. And then I'll be, I'll have enough to get this. So, I could even try doing something like the second ones, then the first ones. But I don't know how well that's going to go. So, yeah, see another bit. Okay, I'm back, like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes later, and I can, I'm close enough that I can just spam this, and yeah, there it is, E58, and that means I can unlock one more time. There also is the question of if I want to do another base 3 unlock at E76, or if I want to go straight to E100. I might want to go straight to E100. So, last, this may be the last time I have to deal with this, clicking the biggest number on the screen whenever I can. Okay. I think, I think I purchased the right things, I hope. And now, I really need to wait. I just, it's unfortunate, but that's what I have to do. The only safe thing I can purchase is the E57. That's it. And I also need to wait until approximately, if I was at E47, getting to E58, I should be able to reach E100 from like, hopefully around E80 or something. So yeah, that's a lot of waiting. And even with this polynomial growth, which I think is something like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, it's I think it's even with this X to the 10th polynomial growth, it's going to be a big struggle to reach something like E80. So, I don't know. I guess I'm just gonna wait for now and I'll see where I am in like a day or two and we'll see there. So, yeah, see you then. I just had a new idea. Um, I, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna save this just to see if it works. What if, instead of doing, so first, the original strategy is just press this as much as I can. And that gets me E49. What if instead, well actually first, I can purchase this. So I'll do that instead because that's gonna, that'll, that'll change it to X the 11th polynomial growth. Okay, I'll reset the test. So the test is if I start like this, gets me to E49, E50, blah, blah, blah. Now, if I load this, instead do some, the, something like Infinity Challenge 4, where I, basically do the highest thing I can purchase. So this, 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 and then this. Yeah, that helps me more. That gets me all the way to E55 or E56. So that additional five or six orders of magnitude is really helpful. That'll probably change to like 10 when I'm close to E100. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, see you in a long while. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since last recording, and I've gotten up all the way up to E76. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to save this in case I don't get enough. And then just start buying everything I can here. So this is not going to really do much. Even this is not going to really do a not notable difference. It's only going to be here where I start seeing some movement. Even then, 
it's not serious movement. So basically, I, I'm, I'm getting a few more of these. Maybe I should just wait. So maybe I can put that into something like save two. Because yes, I, I do. I'm, I'm using save states. It might be cheaty, but I really don't want to mess this up and have to do the whole thing over again. So let's let's see if I can do it at all now. So this does start making the number move if, if I get this. So I, I, I can even get one more of these. So that's that's going to help. But I still need to get all the way to E100. So I'm going to use another save state, save three. And then let's see if I can do it. I can do it. Okay. I, I was not sure. I thought I would like end up at like E95, 96, 97, and I'd have to wait days or weeks. So no save states needed, and I completed the challenge. Finally, after like days. This is this is a quite a hard challenge. So yeah, I also get a fast growing hierarchy number. So yeah. Next episode I'll start looking at the automatons, and it's not really much else to say. I can go for achievements as well next episode. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.